The AI Safety Index 2025 report by the Future of Life Institute evaluates leading AI companies Anthropic, OpenAI, Google DeepMind, XAI, Meta, Zaifu AI, and DeepSeek across six critical domains risk assessment, current harms, safety frameworks, existential safety, governance and accountability, and information sharing. In this video, I am going to describe in very simple and short and quick way what exactly this report entails and interestingly enough, we will see how exactly these providers have performed. This is Fahad Pirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting, please do me a favor, like the video and subscribe to the channel. So. The assessment is based on 33 indicators and aims to provide a transparent, independent benchmark of how responsibly these organizations are managing the risks associated with increasingly powerful AI systems. The report highlights significant disparities in safety practices with Anthropic emerging as a top performer, particularly excelling in governance and transparency while others like Zaifu, AI and DeepSeek lag behind with minimal public safety commitments. Overall, the findings reveal that while some progress has been made in mitigating current harms and improving information sharing, most companies remain inadequately prepared for long-term existential risk, lack robust safety frameworks, and fall short on accountability and external oversight. This diagram from their report gives you the whole picture and I will drop the link to this report uh, and website in video's description. So feel free to read it out. They have not only shared the whole PDF of report, but also a two page summary, which is a really, really good read. So I'm just going to keep it short and simple. If you look at this uh, diagram, let's start from the domains on the left hand side. And I will describe uh, in very simple words why Anthropic has or uh, XCI has received these points or uh, alphabetic measures. Now, in the risk assessment domain, Anthropic and OpenAI receive moderate grades, which is C plus and C minus, reflecting their implementation of structured evaluation for dangerous capabilities such as biosecurity, cybersecurity, and situational awareness. Both companies publish detailed model cards that include targeted red teaming results and quantitative benchmarks. Google DeepMind follows with a C- showing some effort through its LLM powered safety evaluation suite through transparency, uh, though transparency remains limited. In contrast, XCI, Meta, Jaifu, AI, and DeepSeek all receive failing or near failing grades, primarily due to a lack of public documentation on risk evaluation, absence of external testing, and insufficient disclosure about how potential model misuse is assessed. If you look at the current harms, which measures performance on safety benchmarks, adversarial robustness, watermarking, and user protection, Anthropic and OpenAI again lead with B and B grade. They demonstrate strong performance in mitigating harmful content generation and show resilience against jailbreaks and prompt injection attacks. Google DeepMind and XAI achieve C plus score. That shows moderate capabilities, but again, uh, mainly the Chinese model, Jaifu AI and DeepSeek both score D minus with DeepSeek notably flagged for an extreme jailbreak vulnerability, which is interesting. In safety frameworks, the evaluation focuses on whether companies have comprehensive documented strategies for identifying, analyzing and mitigating AI risks. Anthropic and OpenAI earn C grade for having structured frameworks that include risk taxonomies, mitigation protocols, and alignment research roadmaps. OpenAI's model spec initiative, which codifies behavioral rules and defaults, is highlighted as a positive step towards transparency. Google DeepMind and XCI receive D+, for having partial frameworks but lacking integration across teams and public clarity. Meta scores D+, due to fragmented efforts and insufficient investment in temper-resistant safeguards. Again, Jaifu AI and DeepSeek both receive F grade because there is not much information available there. The existential safety domain reveals a troubling industry-wide shortfall. 
all companies receive D or F grade, with Anthropic scoring a D for having the most developed research agenda on alignment and control, including work on mechanistic interpretability and scalable oversight. OpenAI and Google DeepMind also received D grade for acknowledging long-term risks and funding relevant research, though their plan remains aspirational rather than operational. XCI, Meta, Jaifu, DeepSeek all receive F, where there is no meaningful strategy for ma managing extreme risk for advanced AI systems as per this report. If you look at governance and accountability, Anthropic stands out with an A- thanks to its clear whistleblowing policy, independent board structure and active advocacy for regulatory oversight. Open AI earns a C-, maintaining a formal whistleblowing system but marred by governance instability, including board resignation and lot of other things, whereas rest of the lot hasn't really scored well. Finally, in information sharing, Anthropic again leads with an A. Publishing extensive technical reports, model cards and evaluation data under permissive license. That is where I'm very surprised that why the Deep Seek has received such a low score. Plus, where is Alibaba? They have done wonderfully well, the coin. Um, I think their models are very, very open. Open A follows with a B, sharing substantial information through its safety evaluation hub and model specs. But these are closed labs, so even if they have scored well, I think still a lot of questions are there which are still to be unanswered uh, even in this report. So I think uh, this needs to be taken into account. But if you look at all of these scores, I think that one thing which jumps out that all of these companies need a credible, actionable plan for controlling um, safe, secure and open systems because most of these companies still operate with an insufficient openness uh, where there is not much public oversight and collaborative safety advancement. Now I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please do me a favor and like the video and subscribe to the channel because that helps a lot. Now, one parting word here is that I believe that this should be expanded to Alibaba's model. I think this should also include include few other providers which are uh, emerging, maybe you know another list for the emerging models that those are my two cents but i think it will really really make sense if you guys also chip in with your feedback as that is always very insightful and helpful and rest assured i read every comment thanks for the support